rippers. Did y'all know GameStop will give you a free pack every month if you're one of them pro members? I got some Magic the Gathering this time. I got my free pack plus five packs. Three packs of Wilds of Eldrain, and I got three packs of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Um, they didn't have any more draft boosters for Wilds of Eldrain, so I just went ahead and got three boosters. When we get back to the house, we're going to rip these packs open. I'm new to Magic, so I'm not sure what's going to be in there. Anything that we can get is going to be cool because it's all brand new to me. We'll see if I can find some cool cards that I'll be able to use in uh, one of those free-for-all decks that I had that I was talking about before. So we got a few more errands to run, then we're going to head home, and then I'll be able to open up these packs. Here we go. We got our packs here. I got three packs of Xalan. And I got three packs of Wilds of Eldrin. Y'all wanna know how to get a free pack from GameStop? You go to GameStop, you sign up to be a Power of Rewards member. After you pay that fee, every month they give you $5 that you can use on anything in the store. You know what you use that on? A pack. That's a free pack right there. Look, this pack, free. Ooh. Foil land, nice. Turn from the woods, spider food, candy trail, ginger brute, territorial witch stalker. Looks like an uncommon Johan. Splashy spellcaster. Ooh, Godwick's first duel. Lich Knight's Conquest, Rare, Karmic Justice, The Witch's Vanity, Enchantment Saga, Pack 2, Roswell Dream, I got this kind of quick, I got a battery dying, on the floor, I like how these rip, it's so satisfying. I like all the artworks from this set. They're all real nice. Sweet Tooth Witch. Witch. Spider Food again. Candy Trail. Ginger Brew. This is like half the same pack. Threadbind Click. Picklog Prankster. Thunder's Debut. Oh, Vampire Rights. And for the foil, two-headed hunter. Human token. All right. Now this is my second magic opening, so everything's still pretty new to me. I do like the game. I think the next thing that I want to like purchase a little bit down the line would be a jump start. Oh, that's nice. Foil basic land, full art, <clears throat> would be a, um, yeah, so I think I want to get a jumpstart, a jumpstart box. So a jumpstart box is going to have like 24 packs in it or something like that. And uh, all you do is you and whoever you're playing against, you grab two packs out of the jumpstart box, which each pack has 20 cards in it. Oh, look at that. Full art spreading seas, Lord Skitter's Butcher beast token look at the artwork on that yes yeah, i think wilds will drain this that's my third pack <laughs> i have ever uh opened and definitely my favorite for sure but back to the jump jump start so for the jump start you and whoever you're playing against you grab two packs each pack has 20 cards in it and then you just shuffle those two packs together and then you play i think you have like you start with like 20 health or something like that but each pack has like its own theme. So like one pack might be vampires and the next pack might be like rogues. Um, so if you pull those two packs in your theme deck would be like vampire rogues. Ooh, full art, swampland, non hollow. Keep these together. Gem guard, hunter's blow gun. I got a lot of those. Sunshot, Melissa, Alt militia also. Alamette. Staunch Crewmate, Swashbuckler's Whip, Captain Storm. Look at this nice red and blue there. Lodestone Needle, Sentinel of the Nameless City, and Scythe Claw Raptor, and it is foil. Oh, 
10 cents. Oh, this is cool. The spine fluke, I think it has, what do they call it? It's like the original borders or the legacy borders, something like that. I'm gonna get into that draft booster. So the draft booster is gonna have more cards than the rest of these. And that's one of the last few sets is gonna be able to be draftable too. But I'm looking forward to the play boosters because who just doesn't want to open packs and have more cards in the pack? But for me, for Magic, I've been watching a lot of videos about how to play and what to play. And I think like the sealed, like playing sealed would be like one of my favorite ways to play. Like that's why I want to get a jump start or like playing draft. Draft would be kind of cool. Because then, like, you never know like, what you're going to get, right? Like, it's not somebody sitting there spending hours and days and hundreds of dollars on a deck, and then you got no chance because you just got a commander deck that you bought off the shelf or something like that. I think that's kind of... I mean, it's cool, but I would rather play sealed because then everyone has, like, an equal chance of, of winning for the most part. Warden of the Inner Sky. And Waterwind Scout. I know that's worth nothing from before. Arcbound Mauser. All right, here we go. Draft Booster. What the heck? I'm like ripping this all different weird places. So we do a little pack battle here. Afterwards, I'm gonna go through and, oh, this is thick ass pack. Afterwards, I'm gonna go through and see which packs to give me more value, but the Wilds of El Drain, they're just, the cards are such, are, are way more beautiful to me, so I think that, that the Wilds of El Drain artworks, period, those win, like, Exxon's cool with the dinosaurs and the old Mayan stuff, but I don't want to mix these up. Sunfire Torch, Melmet Brawler, Or is it Orozca Puzzle Door? That's cool. I haven't seen that. Deconstruction Hammer. Goblin Tomb Raider. Marauding Brine Fang. Tent of Sunscribe. Idol of the Deep King. Dread Maws. Sting Crave Cave Crawler. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Hidden Necropolis. And then a Treasure Token. So no foil in there, so what's the hit? This would be the hit, right? The Deep Root Pilgrimage is a mythic. Let's see if Deep Root Pilgrimage got some got some money on it. And survey says no. Let's see if something else I missed in here. I think not. Hey Rippers, thanks for watching this one. See you next week. Peace.